could you explain for people that maybe have never heard this before or never listened to our podcast or Joe Rogan's podcast sure. or Jocko's podcast or any of these other people yeah. that do jujitsu, uh -huh. which a lot of people are in love with now. Can right. you explain to them like there's jujitsu, there's grappling, there's MMA, there's ADCC. Like it's kind of confusing for somebody yeah. who's not into the sport. And by the way, you're the per perfect person to explain this because your podcast, Humans of Grappling, everybody yeah. should check that out if you're into combat sports. This, this is what you do. This is what you yeah. do. Well, no, what you do is you do <laughs> IT, yeah. but this is what you're passionate about. You're, exactly. You're like me. Your wife's like, dude, not another, not another podcast. <laughs> exactly. Come on, man. Exactly. So yeah, explain the whole kind of like under the umbrella of combat sports. Why is ADCC the Olympics of grappling, quote unquote? Sure. Yeah. So like grappling. So think of like a Venn diagram. I know this is like going back to like school for some people is like it, it's a, it's a like it contains all of like the non-striking arts. So like you, it, what you see on UFC and like that's MMA, like mixed martial arts. So that's like striking, kickboxing, uh, and there's wrestling and and jujitsu in there too. But like they start standing on the feet and they're trying to punch and kick each other. So grappling is no punching and kicking. Um, so then from there, it's like we there's different rule sets for not punching and kicking. So right. that's like there, there's there's different uh, legal submissions and. Um, legal positions and things like that so there's like there's jujitsu like there's like gi jujitsu where you can like grab their clothes like the yeah you wear uh, the big old the, school the, kimono yeah exactly you can grab their their belt and like choke them with their with their clothes um i did that for i started that um like the first six years of my career at, in jujitsu i never thought i would do no gi like i was like a very gi like purist i was like sorry yeah sorry no. Good. <laughs> um yeah, and there are mm -hmm. these gi purists yeah. who it's like right. that's how I started. Yeah. That's what yeah. I want to do. There's exactly. the there's the tradition. There's the belt. Right. There's the, all the stuff. Exactly. And then of course there's nothing more embarrassing or more fulfilling than choking somebody out with their own clothes. Exactly. So that's yeah. kind of awkward. So you yeah. did that for six years. I did that. Uh, yeah, uh, started that, and that was like my first experience with jujitsu. And then before that, I wrestled in high school. So wrestling is like the the other major grappling. It, it's. People view it as a sport in America, but it's like a martial art. It's a way yeah. to like defend yourself. It's a way of like controlling another human being against their will. Um, and then there's judo, which is like the Japanese martial art of like throwing people um, or throwing uh, using the earth to throw people into it or wh wh whatever the quote is, is like, um, I don't know, you, using the ground, getting people to the ground and then you can control them there. So um yeah, so there's like different grappling arts and all like kind of the point of ADCC was to be the quote unquote UFC of like grappling is like people came in with their specific grappling style. So they would have like um, Sambo people, which is like the Russian uh, grappling art and like uh, US freestyle people and like jujitsu people eventually jujitsu kind of won out and that is now like the standard but um and that so, wasn't yeah. a foregone conclusion yeah. right because right. like when yeah. adc started um kind of a crazy story the dude yeah. from usc and mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if you know that whole background and you want to tell that story um but when it started it was like he was really thinking kind of like the ufc was let's bring together wrestlers and judo people and jujitsu people and see what mm -hmm. wins mm -hmm. and it just has happened over the last two decades jujitsu has dominated in a big way right exactly. um ha have you heard the story about the guy who founded adcc no no so uh, abu dhabi combat club, combat yeah. club yeah um it was a guy i can't remember i believe he was going to school at usc but living oh, in san yeah. diego at a okay. certain point mm -hmm. and he was just got into jujitsu and everybody knew him i'm gonna butcher the story but you'll get the sure. concept yeah everybody knew him as like frank and frank uh -huh. would just come in and like yeah. do jujitsu and whatnot and then it turns out it was some like Abu Dhabi Sheik's kid yep. who was wealthier than anybody had any idea. Yeah. And uh, he just wanted to like come to America and be frank and know mm -hmm. what it was like to be a normal dude. And he fell in love with jujitsu. And so he goes back and tells his dad, he's like, hey, I need, you know, X million dollars to host this event. We're going to invite all these grapplers out here and we're going to put on this showcase of fighting effectively for our own entertainment right and then exactly. it started this whole this whole launch and i believe it's still financed now by that same chic which yeah. is like blows my mind i mean this is like something out of the movies now the yeah there's some crazy chic stories of like um where i think that's potentially that same guy i'm not totally sure um bought a building in new york city for marcelo garcia to run his academy out of so it's like the, because new york city so expensive and marcelo garcia was like oh i 
whatever. I can't find any affordable places. Sheik's like, oh, no problem. Just <laughs> buy your building. Right, yeah. I need more Sheik's as friends. <laughs> exactly. I think that's what I've decided. Right, and I think, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Henzo Gracie, similar story, is like, I, I think that that building is also owned by a sheik. So it's like, yeah, that's that, cool. that, that oil money is just like, is endless, right? Like yeah. you're, you're sitting on like, it, it's interesting when people say like, Oh, uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or whoever is the richest person in the world. No, these guys who have, who are sitting on trillions of dollars of oil that isn't going to run out for a hundred years. Yeah. Like they're, they're, they're the richest, like, that we we can't count their money, right? Right. That, right. That, that's a, that that that's the most ridiculous. Like that that's a, a crazy thing to like consider. Yeah. Uh, 